The goal of our project was to investigate the behavior of myoblasts on differently curved polymer substrates. Therefore, we seeded and cultured those cells on convex PDMS surfaces with three different radii. Afterwards, we observed the differentiation and the proliferation of the cells and analyzed them at different time points. Due to its high biocompatibility and easy processing, we use the polymer PDMS as substrate. The polymer base was mixed with the linking agent in a ratio of 10 to 1 and centrifuge afterwards. We used concave molds to get PDMS surfaces with a curvature radii of 48, 63 and 166 micrometer. Then we vacuumized to avoid air bubbles in the polymer mixture before the polymerization took place at 85 degrees Celsius in the preheated oven for one hour. We gained now hydrophobic surfaces. To achieve a better cell adhesion on the surface, we had to coat the surface with fetal calf serum. Therefore, the surface were made hydrophilic by a plasma treatment and then incubated with FCS overnight. The cells were seeded with a density of 15,000 cells per square centimeters and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2. The cells were observed by live imaging. C2, C12 cells are a cell line of myoblasts, which are also called satellite cells. They can be found in rare numbers in adult skeletal muscle tissue, where they proliferate and differentiate into myotubes after small injuries. Myotubes form muscle fibers, which have a radii of 10 to 200 micrometers. That's why we chose those specific curvature radii in our experiment. C2, C12 cells are of significant relevance when it comes to muscle injuries, muscle-related illness or age-related decrease of muscles. Here you can see a video of our cells live image for one and a half days. It seems like the cells align along the curvature. After one, three and five days, the cells were fixed to take microscopic pictures in phase contrast. To investigate the influence of the curvature radii on the cell orientation, the angle of the cells to the curvature was measured. As already predicted, the curvature has a significant influence on the orientation of the cells. But between the three curvatures, there is no significant influence on the cell orientation. To get an idea of the morphologic changes due to differentiation, we stained the nucleus with Hurst, the actin skeleton with phylloidin, and a specific actin fiber called alpha smooth muscle actin with antibodies. The staining showed if the myofibroblasts differentiated into myotubes as they are elongated fibers and contain multiple nuclei. Alpha smooth muscle actin indicates the contractility of the cells. We can say that there is no obvious difference in alpha SMA expression between our cells seeded on curved substrates and on a flat substrate after 24 hour incubation. There is also no myotube formation on any substrate after 24 hours incubation. In order to make accurate statements on the myoblast differentiation, we would need to do further experience.